That's right. It's really happening. You can now make individual changes to separate tracks in Riverside. We have new tools for eliminating crosstalk, muting sections of a track where no one's speaking, and yes, even adjust the volume of individual tracks manually in the editor. Let's jump in and I'll show you how to edit separate tracks here in Riverside. I'll go to one of my past recordings here and let's jump into the editor by clicking the purple button in the top right corner. Now, if you click on the timeline here at the bottom, you'll see new tools called Expand Tracks and also a volume adjustment. If we click volume, you'll see we can now adjust the volume of each track individually. You'll actually see those waveforms change here at the bottom. So if I increase Nate's volume, you'll see him become louder than me. If I increase my volume here, you'll see it start to match. So here you can make granular controls over the volume for every track. Plus you still have the option to normalize audio levels on export and Riverside will do its best to get everything to be the same volume. Click on the timeline again and let's choose the Expand Tracks tool. And now we have a bunch more options here in the editor. I can click on each individual track, see their waveform separately from the others, and we can apply some magic tools. I'll click the Magic Tools option, and we can use Magic Audio and apply it just to this one track, which can make any microphone sound studio quality. And we've added a new Magic Mute feature. This will mute all the non-speaking parts of the track. Let's click apply and see what happens. And now you'll see all the parts where this person is speaking is still left in the track, but everything else is muted. That will help cut down maybe on some background noise, breathing sounds, and anything else that might be distracting when the person's not talking. But if we zoom in, we can also manually adjust each in and out point around the silence that was cut. So if I want to drag this out a little bit, I can make sure every edit is perfect and that there's no speaking parts accidentally cut out. And I can also apply it to the other tracks in this edit. Then I can zoom in and adjust any of those in and out points that I need. And this should make for a very clean recording. And so those are the new tools for expanding and editing individual tracks. We've also highlighted places in the recording where there's crosstalk. You'll see if someone's talking and then there's some interjections by other guests, that's called crosstalk and you'll see it indented here in the transcript. You'll see in this section here down in the timeline that I'm talking in purple and there's a little bit of crosstalk overlap might not need to be in the recording. So I can click that indented crosstalk here in the transcript and choose to mute that one section. I can choose just to mute Nate's track and now that crosstalk won't be heard. You can also apply it to all crosstalk across the entire edit and that will open up the AI tools feature. Of course, you can still set pace, which removes the perfect amount of silence, our smooth speech feature, which removes all filler words, and I'll apply the magic mute now to the entire edit. This will make sure there's no crosstalk and we can hear the active speaker at any time. And if we want to remove all the silences, we can also go into the set pace feature, remove the perfect amount of silence. It will tell us how many pauses are removed and the total amount of time saved. We can click apply on that. You'll see we actually had a large break in the recording. So now I don't even have to edit it. Set pace automatically removed it. I can also expand the tracks and see where the silence was removed from each track. And I can edit that individually. And if there's still some granular edits I want to make, like deleting this little section here in one of the tracks, I expanded the track here. I can click and drag the mouse to select it and then just hit the delete key on the keyboard and you'll delete just that section from this one track. And don't forget all the other tools you have available to you here in the editor, like changing the layout, adding some space. We can choose a background image, some of our stock images or upload a custom one. Change the order of the tracks here, add our animated captions. You can adjust the style and how you highlight the active word here. Add text overlays like lower thirds and URLs and even image overlays, which will pull from royalty-free stock images. I can quickly expand it to fill the frame and of course upload my own images, video clips, and more to use here in the edit. Then when I'm ready, click the export button. I can export up to 4K video. Again, I can still choose to normalize the audio levels or jump over to audio and export an MP3 for my podcast. And that's our new separate track editing in Riverside. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video, answer those personally, and we have even more features coming soon. So subscribe to the channel right here so you don't miss them. Hit that like button. And if you want to see a full walkthrough of the entire Riverside platform, check out this playlist here. I have walkthrough videos there, information on our new live streaming tools, and a ton more. And if you want to learn more about why it's important to have a video version of your podcast and why YouTube is the top discovery platform, check out this video right here where I explain the new changes in YouTube and how to get your podcast in front of more people. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.